I remember back in uh, school, elementary school, you used to uh, yeah, it was really uh, talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Advent Fit is a podcast that has a holistic approach to physical, spiritual, and mental well-being. In each episode, we share productive ways to live a healthier and happier lifestyle. Unlike other podcasts in this space, Advent Fit gives you a comprehensive approach to fitness without the fluff for the everyday Christian. We're discussing 10 ways that nature is beneficial to you. 10 ways. You love 10 ways. Yes, yes. So what are these 10 ways about? We're going to discuss them shortly. So we know that nature is, is amazing. Let's talk about nature. Yes, it's in the flute. That's what I just said. Or nurture. Nature. We're talking about nature. nature. N-A-T-U-R-E. Nature. Nature. I like that show, Nature. PBS. There's, there's a show called Nature? PBS right there. Okay. There's plenty of shows called Nature. I mean, not called Nature, but about nature mm-hmm. on Netflix. And that kind of goes into my next segment. So we know that nature is beneficial to us, but did we know how much it is beneficial towards us? And just looking at nature, just looking at pictures, a still picture of nature has benefits towards our mental health and our life. Just not looking even at being in nature, just staring at nature. Just looking at not, not even staring at looking at a, a fake picture, like a picture mm-hmm. on a computer yeah. or on a laptop or whatever you have. Preferably an iPad because you know Apple's better. But besides that, <laughs> just looking at a picture of nature has so, benefits towards so your life. backdrop on your on your uh, your PC uh, laptop has a picture of a tree yeah. or a flower. That's why you, it's great to have nature backgrounds for your app. Do I have one for my computer right now? I, I don't. But I'll be, sure, I'll be sure to change that after this episode. <laughs> so after hearing about this, I actually asked one of my, you know, one of my coworkers about uh, plants because she loves plants a lot. So I'm actually asking her, asked her about plants. So I actually got two plants. She actually gave me two plants that I'm going to be nurturing, which is nature. I'm going to nurture the, the nature. nature, nurture right. the nature. Photosynthesis that we need oxygen, mm-hmm. and plants need carbon dioxide. So plants take carbon dioxide. And they take water and they take the sunlight and they make that into food and they give us oxygen, which is amazing. So right what, there. So what we need, they have. What we don't need and we give out, they need. So mm. we help each other out. So that's amazing. So let's go on to the first circle of life. <laughs> the circle <laughs> of life. Why does sing the Lion King song? <laughs> I don't even start. Boom boy, I don't know how it starts. Anyway, let's go. Boom boy, yeah, that way. That's part of it. Terrible, Jeff. That's part of the song. A, a non-true Disney fan. <laughs> anyway. It's, anyway, Disney stole that from whatever random company. Uh, Kimba, Kimba Lion. Yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> something like that, yeah. The first benefit is it is an antidote for stress. Green areas can reduce cortisol levels. Green? Green. So that's interesting. It's like the psychology of colors. Yeah. Like, but not, mean, not money, but nature. Even oh, though money, yeah. money actually that can reduce cortisol levels. <laughs> that will relieve a lot of cortisol levels. That's interesting because they talk about like how red and like could cause like, like could cause you to have like a stressful feeling, but yeah. then green is saying well, reduce your stress. And this is why even for like for churches, maybe because it's like telling you to go. Maybe, maybe, but for like for, for churches, like a lot of the pews and 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 the carpets are red. They're like in. Can have some kind of people can be angry and guess like some church members could be disgruntled. <laughs> look at the That's red interesting. All the time. I've never seen a church with green like yeah. pews. Yeah, we should, we should try some some happier colors, some green, some some light blues. Right? Yeah, change yeah. up the colors. Right? That's so, interesting. Maybe put some more pictures of, of nature around. Okay. It'd be like it helps. Some stained glass nature. Number two is alleviating ADHD in children. Of course, you know that's not the only thing you have to do if you have a kid with ADHD. You don't mm-hmm. just take them. Take them out in nature and just say, oh, it's, it's, it's fixed. Mm-hmm. We have more things to do with, you know, with doctors and everything like that. But this can be a help towards, you know, alleviating some mm-hmm. of the problems with ADHD. So one American study indicates that outdoor activities in nature are beneficial for children diagnosed with ADHD. Doing activities solo in groups was shown to alleviate hyperactivity or inattention, which are characteristic signs of the disorder. Mm, interesting. So just going out into nature... Uh, uh, really helps. Yeah. All right, let's move on to number three. Nature promotes heart health. Oh, I thought you were going to say heart attack. I was like, that's horrible. Not heart attack. So not only Cheerios, <laughs> which they do all that promotion, but nature helps promote heart health. Mm. So gardening helps recover from cardiac disease or heart surgery by reducing stress, which can have a negative impact on blood pressure. Nature helps to relax your nervous system and stress responses. 
because you know that heart uh, disease is like the number one killer. The number one killer. That's about. So going into just going out into nature just will help to combat against death, basically. And if you can't have a garden because you make maybe you live in a city where this you don't have an area to have a garden, you can have some plants in your house. Or you can know, take some walks outside and set the I see people put like gardens on their windowsill, like they just hang it outside their window. Yeah, so be creative. There's plenty of things you can do. And number four, which you talked about before, which is another benefit towards children, is that nature aids in children's behavioral development. So not just people with ADHD, but children just with their behavior. Behavior, yes, behavior regardless of whatever they have. Just nature helps with children's behavior. So around the classroom, have some plants at your house, if you're a parent, have plants. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, 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 you're acting up, kid, smell this flower. <laughs> go, to the, go to the plant room. <laughs> That's a new punishment. Go to the plant room. <laughs> so, nature helps children develop important skills, such as self-independence and self-discipline, which is central to being a balanced adult. That's why it makes a lot of sense that, like, with kids, that you're you go and you have like a, sometimes like living out in the country uh, has its benefits, and if, even if you don't live in the country, like maybe on the weekends going yeah. going to the park, going uh, going uh, sightseeing will so, help. Just to spend time outdoors, have them play games outdoors, have them run around, have them go to a park, make sandcastles, do things outdoors. Yeah, play with nature, be in nature. And number five is nature reduces depression and anxiety. Mm. So of course if you have depression, it's not just go out to nature. You need to get a therapist, you need to talk to somebody. If it's really, really, really serious, you need to get seek help immediately. But nature helps with depression and anxiety. Living close to green areas helps reduce feelings of anxiety in teens and adults. And going for a walk in nature can help people diagnosed with depression. I mean, I, I know that when I go out into nature, I go like kayaking. It just, it just brings it a nice calm. Yeah. And just like for, they have these, these apps for meditation or for, for relaxing apps, and they always have these nature sounds. You always hear these, mm. these water sounds or these... The rustling wind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> nature helps in, in many ways. And even if it's not, you're not in nature, you can have these artificial things of nature. But try to get as much time with nature as possible. That's interesting because you think about that God created nature. And it's like just utilizing the, 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 the environment that God created... Uh, would just be so much beneficial to our lives. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And number six is nature improves cognition. So one study by the University of Michigan shows that walking in nature or just looking at pictures of nature, which you talked about before, can help your brain recoup and improve your direct attention abilities that help you stay focused on one task when there are other distracting things around you. I've heard of people like, you know, like studying for a test Outdoors, yeah. Like they go to the park and they just sit down, uh, like, uh, like with like a blanket and they study. So this is gonna change some of my ways because I usually stay inside a lot. But what I'm gonna start doing, since I have like, a park close to me, I have the Laguardia Park, which is called not Laguardia Park, sorry, Flushing Park, or called Corona Park. But you know, it's a bad name for now. <laughs> <laughs> but but I have a park close to me, so I'm gonna start reading outside, start studying outside. Mm. So even if I wanna watch some TV, sometimes I take my iPad and just. Watch it outside. Mm. Like, just be more into nature. So I'm going to start doing that because nature is really, really important. Number seven is nature can boost your well-being. So a person's sense of well-being can be enhanced by spending several hours per week in nature and when it is close to our house. Yeah. So like you, like you live around yeah. a lot of nature. So you're up in the boonies, but there's a lot of stuff that's, <laughs> <The boonies. laughs> that's near you. You got cake and you got all these stuff, which is, which is amazing. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, like I know there's like a fitness trail near me. Yeah. And so and that fitness trail has a lot of like uh, calisthenic type of workouts, mm -hmm. but you run from station to station through this, all these trees to to get to the next station. So it just, it just feels really good. So to you're outside, 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 that's like multiple benefits. Yeah. You're exercise, and you're outside, that's amazing. Number eight is. Nature alleviates asthma, 
and respiratory problems. And I have asthma, so this is a great benefit. I remember for that, me. yeah. I, I forgot, totally forgot about you. you remember uh, that? And, no, I remember, I, I, I remember back in uh, school, elementary school, you used to uh, yeah, it was really uh, puff a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> puff, 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 pass. <laughs> but yeah. My, my, but I don't see you doing that no more. What would you say? I don't see you doing that anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not, I guess I'm but not in nature. Well, yeah. I don't know, but it's not as bad as it was before. But as a, as a, uh, a, a child, my apple was terrible. I was mm-hmm. in and out of the emergency room really? frequently, yes. Wow. So I had that, not only did I have the, the puffer, I had the, the huge machine where I hooked up to the back of my face and then, you know, I, I turned it on. Serious? So, yeah, I had that. I, I did not know about yeah, that. So my apple was really, really, really bad. Oh. Uh, but, but luckily, and, um, praise God, it's much better right now. Hmm. So yes. So, so, what, so how does nature help with that? Because of the fresh air? So vegetation in all forms helps improve air quality. So we talked about before mm-hmm. how we know that that plants, they take in carbon dioxide and they give oxygen. Mm. So cutting down plants and cutting down nature is not good for the earth and for, for humans mm. in general. So for people with asthma and other respiratory symptoms, this is very important. We rely on good air quality for a healthy life. It's amazing to me that even astronauts, when we go into space, they have a carbon just because they want to have a uh, good air, like like of all the billions of dollars spent on NASA technology, it's yeah. like yeah, we want some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nature is very, very, very important. And number nine is that nature supports overall health and longevity. So living close to green areas you can walk in can support overall health and longevity, which is particularly important for later years. Most people want to feel healthy. And one of the ways of supporting your body's ability to function optimally is to spend time in nature on a weekly basis. That that sounds good, especially uh, for retirement years. Oh yeah, you want to go? Yeah, plenty of time. So it's <laughs> 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 point time and issue, and nothing to do. Yeah, going for that walk. Yeah, and stuff like that. That's good. But even if you do have something to do, try to do that stuff outside in nature because it can improve your life and it can make your life longer. So if, you, mm-hmm. if you're going to retire, you want to be retired for longer. So you want to spend a long time. So maybe it's good to even incorporate nature even before your retirement. Of, so you can, of course. You're going to do something good at start. Don't wait till you're retired. You have a short retirement. <laughs> so make sure you start that now. So the last benefit to nature, not the last one, but that's one that we're talking about today, is nature helps the immune system. Now the immune system, having a healthy one is very important. We talked all about that two episodes ago. Yeah, so if you want to know more about that, check that episode out. So nature helps boost the human immune system, an essential function that protects us from all sorts of illnesses and supports the healing process. When you feel relaxed and safe, your body enters a stage of rest and recovery. In this stage, important bodily functions such as the immune system are built and boosted. Being in nature has proven to help your body achieve this state. That's awesome, Jeff. So many amazing benefits that nature brings. So we got to incorporate nature in our lives, whether by going out into nature or bring some nature indoors or both, you know, like that's really going to help us. And we mentioned 10, but there are many other benefits to nature. Absolutely. And so please check out our podcast by going to adamfit.org. You can check out the rest of our episodes there. We talked about the immune system. We have an episode about sunshine and air. We, we, we talk about a lot of good stuff that are similar to what we talked about today. Mm-hmm. And so check that out. And if you want to follow us and our social media accounts, you can find mine on the And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Wolf. That's W-H-O-K-E. And until next time, I'm going to know. And I'm CJ Wright and the Seeds for Creation. And by him, all things for creation. And we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this episode, why don't you click the like button and the notification bell. Bing! And if you really liked it, please share this episode with someone close to you. But before you do that, subscribe to Advent Fit. Exactly.